Adam, two seconds yesterday at the Val, that could easily have been wins, but I'm sure that you're hoping to translate those second places into first places at uh, Turfontaine on Thursday. Ready to charge, just the one start, and there have been significant form line upgrades from that particular race. Yeah, Andrew, look, I think that, I think that um, his maiden win was quite impressive, having said that um, there's obviously... Um, uh, high respect for David Nivernazen's horse in the race, um, who ran behind Lucky Lad first time out and then came out and won his second start. Um, and Jerusalem Moraine, there's a lot of good form lines behind that horse. So I think it's a tough uh, juvenile plate, uh, and if he happened to win a race like this, it would show that he's really got a lot of ability. Ready to charge on the inside is running an absolute blinder. Ready to charge is going to charge away. Ready to charge, the talk was there, and the talk is spot on. Good win. Would there be something in the cards for him in the uh, feature race season down in KwaZulu Natal if he acquitted himself well? Yeah, most definitely. We'll just have to decide which one. Then Sheila. Uh, there's not a lot to say about Sheila. She's uh, clearly very spectacular in every respect. Good run in the computer form sprint. Interesting the way that she was holding her head during the course of the race. I know that your dad said to me that's not the way she likes to race, but I'm sure you're expecting a good run from her because she doesn't take a lot of work. Yeah, look, um, I think that second run after her rest uh, could have been a flat, slight flattish run. I must say I was a bit disappointed that uh, when she started moving through, she didn't kick in the manner in which she usually does. Having said that... Um, I find that she seems to be in a much better space at the moment um, and it was a bit of a sort of a dilemma we had, do we go down to Scottsville for the 1200 uh, or do we stay up here and run in the, the pinnacle and then prep her towards uh, one or two of the features later on in the KZN season. Uh, and the thing was, she's really come well at the moment. Uh, and going down to Scottsville now when she's come well and then coming back uh, might put us on the back foot when I feel like we're on the front foot at the moment. So I'm hoping that she can win this race and uh, it'll put us in a great position for the post merchants or the Mercury, whichever one we decide to go for. Obviously, draws would be a massive factor. As they always are in Durban. Now, um, this fellow behind you, Breeze Over, very interested in the conversation. Uh, he looks to have a very, very lively chance. Yeah, look, I think he's been waiting for this type of trip. Um, I was very impressed with his last run. Uh, he's a horse that uh, used to be tall and quite lanky and he's now filled out. He's strengthened up a lot. I think we're only going to start to see the best of him as a four-year-old, to be honest. Um, but I really think he's going to enjoy this type of trip. And then to put the lid on the day, Southern Song. Things didn't really map out for her in the smallish kind of race uh, last time out, but... I know that you've always been hopeful that she can pull off another race. Yeah, very disappointed with her last run. I must say that she didn't get cover and she's a filly that has to get cover. She gets cover, she'll run a good race. So that's the main thing. She gets cover, switches off, she'll be in the shake-up. Hard to get cover in such a small race, much more chance of getting more cover in this race. Yeah, that's not up to me. That's up to the jockeys. Drop them out and get cover. If they can't do it, it's not my fault.